first, thanks for having me, guys. Good to see you guys. Um, it's nice to be able to work with Fletch. You know, it's exciting. You know, I had to sit there for a year and really just uh, daydream about it and think about it. So now that I'm here, I'm um, just trying to stay healthy, be consistent, and uh, get back to the way I was, you know, may, possibly even 110% better, you know. But um, it, it, it's working out well as far as Javon goes. You know, it sucks, but that's the name of the game. And, and I told him at least he can come back. You know, don't come to me with no boohoo stories. You know, I lost a year, so... But I know he's a strong guy. He's a fun guy. He's working hard mentally. And uh, when he comes back, he's going to be great. It was a, a pretty good day for you today, being out there in the pads. Um, obviously, having a slow start to camp isn't ideal, or, or being sidelined for a little while isn't, isn't ideal. But how different do you feel now this year than you did at this point last year as a rookie? Um, night and day different. Um, you know, around this time last year, you know, I'm, I'm – trying to, you know, learn all the plays, learn how they get done, trying to find chemistry with Carson, uh, learn how, you know, everything works in the NFL. Uh, second time around, I mean, shoot, I don't, like, there's all the plays. Like, I hate to say that I know all the plays because obviously there's going to be a day or two where I have a mental error, but I'm pretty confident in the plays, like, I don't go into practice with my with the script in my hand trying to memorize the plays that I have. I'm just like, I'm in the huddle. You call the play. I know what I, what I got to do. Um, and now I can play faster. I can play more confidently and, you know, show show everybody what I can do instead of trying to do. What's up, everybody? Right Thanks thing. for tuning in to Eagles News Now. I'm professional wrestler Chris Wild live from Bar 40. 133. And at the end of this video, if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Now, what we just saw were quotes from yesterday's press conferences of two guys that were superstars in today's practice. It's Eagles defensive tackle Malik Jackson and Eagles wide receiver J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Um, let's get right into the news and notes as today was a live practice. I'm going to talk over some clips and pictures, but let's get into injuries First, nothing really new injury-wise. Zach Ertz was out with an upper body injury. They said to be day-to-day. -day. I heard that's nothing serious at all. They really just didn't want him out there during the live practice. Also, Jalen Rager, Deontay Barnett, Sharif Miller, and Rasul Douglas were all out with illness. Um, other than that, as you can see through the graphic, it's all the uh, same injuries that the Eagles have been dealing with. Uh, this whole week. So now let's talk about the guy that from reports I've seen stood out the most in practice and that is wide receiver JJ Ortega White's Whiteside. He looks to be at least from today's practice and yesterday's practice a completely different guy than he was a year ago. I did a video earlier in the week about the unsolved mystery about what happened to this guy's game because he was a very good and productive wide receiver in college and today he kind of showed a little bit of the college J.J. Ortega Whiteside as he had a couple impressive passes from Carson Wentz one a diving catch another one a contested catch um, that uh, was on the sideline for 20 yards and then he had a short uh, touchdown with a defender draped all over him so great uh, good news for J. Jaw. Um, hopefully he can keep that up going into the season because I really think it's going to be Deshaun and him uh, on the ends until Alshon gets better with Jalen Rager uh, obviously coming in and splitting time. Um, Carson Wentz, talk about number 11 as we always do. He looked good uh, despite constant pressure from the defensive line, which we'll get into here shortly. Uh, a lot of balls to Deshaun Jackson who beat Darius Slay on a short curl and uh, had several other completions. Carson did overthrow a couple guys in the end zone, uh, Greg Ward and John Hightower, and almost had two picks to Avante Maddox and Rodney McLeod. Great stuff for Maddox, who is going to be starting next to Darius Slay when the season starts, barring anything crazy happening. Nate Sudfeld, the guy who we really don't talk about, had his best practice today, um, as Jalen Hurts had very minimal reps in today's practice. Doug Peterson said earlier in the week that Sudfeld was number two, and today's practice showed it, even though the reps that uh, Hurts did get, he once again impressed with his leg work. Let's talk about this defense that was really the star um, of the day. Defensive line pretty much dominated the Eagles' offensive line. Jason Peters was coming in and out of the uh, first string lineup as to be expected. Um, look, man, these guys were absolutely awesome. 
as there were, I think, seven total sacks on the day with Fletcher Cox having one. Um, Hassan Ridgeway, Josh Sweat, Casey Tuhill had two sacks. Uh, this was the Eagles' seventh round pick um, of the draft, who looks to start. It looks like he's going to get a spot on the team, at least if it's on special teams. Joe Osman, who seems to look great every training camp and then gets hurt before the season starts, also looked awesome as he worked over um, Jordan Maialata, had two sacks as well. And then Malik Jackson, who we saw earlier in that press conference, had three sacks on the day and just looked like an absolute beast. If we can get this guy, which he's obviously motivated, as you saw, if we can get the uh, Denver Bronco version of Malik Jackson, um, we're going to be in good shape. And when Javon Hargrave gets back, I mean, it. this should be an often awesome defensive line, let's hope. Um, the safeties also uh, had some fun today, as Kayvon Wallace and uh, Will Parks, who I really haven't talked about as far as practice goes, they put Will Parks all over the field, whether it's at nickel corner, whether it's at safety. One of the best trash talkers on the team always seems to be around the ball, and today was no exception. Uh, Kayvon Wallace teamed up with Sean Bradley, another name that I've mentioned a couple times this week for big hit on Elijah Holyfield. I think it's awesome for Sean Bradley because this is a guy, again, who is going to be on the fringe of maybe making the team. It looks like just from a week, again, we're only in five practices, that he is well on his way because we are three weeks away from the start of the season. Um, Gennard Avery is, to me, probably the most concerning because the Eagles gave up a fourth-round pick for him, and he has been absolutely invisible during training camp, per reports at least. Um, running backs. Let's go back to the offense real quick. Uh, well, we, well, I talked about Elijah Holyfield. Um, he is catching the ball a lot more than they thought he was as he didn't do that at all in college. Other than that, no real uh, standout qualities except for the fact that he's huge and um, he's going to barrel through some guys. Corey Clement, I keep hearing he looks like 2017 Corey. Uh, in t today's practice, he caught a couple low Quick reaction um, balls thrown by Carson Wentz. Again, I just hear people saying he looks like he's back. Hopefully that is the truth. And then, uh, unfortunately, Mike Warren this week of practice didn't stand out in any way from what I hear. Uh, Adrian Killens, they've been moving all over the field at wide receiver. They've been doing a lot of stuff with him. He shows his speed, but he's getting absolutely wrecked as far as getting hit. And the guy's like 177 pounds, which is the one worry that, the, that us as Eagle fans have when we see this guy. Um, other than that, guys, that is really all I have on today's uh, practice, the last practice of the week, as the Eagles have tomorrow off. Um, really good stuff here. Glad to see names like Malik Jackson and J.J. Uh, Stega Whiteside showing up. I think that is um, absolutely great. And look, man, again, we are getting close to the season starting. I'll have more as it comes. Um We'll see what happens this weekend if the Eagles make any other moves to this roster. If they do, you know I'm going to be right there, and I'm probably going to be doing a live stream Saturday night. Stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Go Birds. I'll see you guys later.